Welcome to Spixworth Infant School. Here is the reception desk where you will find Mrs Betts in the morning and Mrs Reed in the afternoon. If we go this way, you will then see our school hall with our core values at the top. Safety, teamwork, achievement, respect and stimulating. Going down the corridor, you will see our achievement certificates where we celebrate our core values, school council representatives, and e safety buddies and playground buddies. And here is the um, beach class and oak class rooms, as well as their pegs and boys and girls toilets. Going through beach class now and we can go straight through the classroom to the outdoor area. Which also then joins up to Oak class on the other side. So this is the joining classroom. And as you can see, we're now back to the cloakroom and the toilets, up through the corridor. It's where we get to the year one and two classrooms, starting with maple class. And then Sycamore class is here. We have our cookery room here. And then further down the corridor, we have our library. Where the children can collect, look at books. Outside. We are very lucky with the space that we have at Spitzworth Infants. Uh, we have a forest school area, a garden and a trim trail. An all weather proof surface and then a playground. And this is where the children will be after they've had lunch and for their lunchtime play. Uh, canopy there, some shelter on those rainy days. We'll go back at reception. Hello and welcome to the new parents meeting um, and to Spixworth Infant School. Thank you very much for choosing us. I thought I would start by sharing some photos of some of the staff in our school. Um, and just to see what we do outside of work as well. We all enjoy a variety of activities such as visits to the beach, cycling, spending time with our family and pets. Okay, so admission packs. Um, please return the forms with the birth certificate in line with the dates and guidance sent to you. Birth certificates will be returned back to you. Any forms not complete will be returned back to you too to complete them fully and transition sessions will be uh, in place at the time. For uniform, our uniform is ordered and supplied through Birds of Deerham. Please name everything, including shoes. You won't believe what we find at the end of the day. PE kits should be kept in school and it will be sent home half termly to be washed. Children need wellies in schools every day and they need a book bag as they fit into their trays and allow staff to effectively send letters home to families. Your child will be taking part in lots of interesting and sometimes messy experiences and activities. So they might sometimes come home dirty, but it is all part of the learning. So medical matters, any sickness or diarrhea must be followed by 48 hours absence from school any absence requires a telephone call explaining why, and please call us on the first day of absence. Prescription medicines can be administered by staff. You must take the medicine to the school office so it can be signed in. 
and you will need to fill in a form giving us permission to administer the medicine. If your child has asthma and uses an inhaler, they will need a blue reliever inhaler in school. You can order a spur inhaler from school from the GP so that it can be kept in school. These will be sent home terminally and it is your responsibility to ensure that they remain in date. If your child has a more serious medical condition that needs regular care or monitoring, please let us know as soon as possible so we can be sure that we can meet your child's needs. Please ensure that your contact details are kept up to date with the school office so that we're able to contact you if your child was to fall ill during the day. So the classroom structure at Spixworth Infant School, there are four classes currently in school, beach class, oak class, maple class and sycamore class. For the staff and the teachers in the school, there is Miss Engel, Mrs Jackson, Miss Timms, Miss Mattock and Miss Feeney. Uh, we also have full-time teaching assistants and part-time teaching assistants, as well as a PE, inst PE instructor and TAs also um, provide enrichment and forest school activities too. Our DSLs, which stands for Designated Safeguarding Leads, are Miss Jordan, Mrs Jackson, Miss Mattock and Mrs Betts. So, learning. The Early Years Foundation Stays continues from preschool. There are seven areas of learning. Um, in particular, at the beginning, we'll be focusing on talking, phonics and reading, which are things we'll do every day and actually you'll do every day at home too. Um, your support is essential and it does really make a difference. So our expectation at school is that your child should read at least three times a week to begin with. This will just be words um, or a picture book that you can share with your child. And as they become more confident, we will send home short captions and sentences to match the phonics that we are learning in school. So as a morning routine, your child will need to come in and wash their hands, hang their coat up and unpack their own bag. If they are bringing in a home pack lunch, they'll be able to put it on their class's trolley. And from September, you'll be using an app where you can order your child lunches from if you wanted them from school. So I thought I would go through a typical classroom um, school day with you. So in the morning, children will take part in phonics, maths and literacy sessions, as well as independent play and snack, which is provided by the school. And then it soon becomes lunchtime, which is at 12 o'clock and it lasts for one hour. And then in the afternoons, we will take part in different activities such as circle time, STEAM, understanding the world, enrichment and PE, which I'll talk about a little bit further now. So for literacy and for phonics, we have a 20 minute phonics session in the morning. Uh, typically it's a new sound will be introduced to the children and then they'll be able to practice this sound independently or with an activity such as matching a picture to a word or a sentence. We have practical phonic activity to support learning both inside and outside and we use a phonic scheme called Letters and Sounds and we use the Read My Ink cards to complete complement the learning of each individual sound. It has a picture to help remember the sound and a ditty to support the formation of each letter. We will also send captions, sentence and a tricky word bookmark with the words on the, um, that the children have learnt and will need to learn from sight as you won't be able to phonetically sound those ones out. Um, so mathematics, uh, we have whole class um, teaching first for about 10 minutes and then the children will be encouraged to go and apply the skill with a variety of activities inside and outside. We use concrete apparatus such as counters, um, unifix cubes and numicon to help record numbers up to 20. Um, children in reception need to be focusing on recognising numbers to 20 and exploring these numbers in practical ways. Um, and also beginning to refer to mathematical voc vocabulary, such as verbally recording a number sentence. So, for example, we have a number 10 numicon here. 
So you can use a four, add six equals 10, or four, take away, 10, take away four equals six. Um, we'll also then move on to recording and writing numbers and number sentences, and we'll use formation cards to help us record the numbers. So this is an example here of number five. We go down and around and then a flag on high. That's the way we make a five. Okay, moving on to literacy. For our communication and language and literacy, we focus on listening carefully to stories and activities, including making puppets, retelling the story, using the small world area, and to recreate scenes from the story. Lots of talking and asking questions and listening to each other too. We read lots of different texts and stories which will inspire imagination and creativity. We encourage children to tell their own stories and to begin to write them with an adult. And this is something called a story scribe. We will set work related to the stories. For example, when we read the story of the Three Little Pigs, the children started first as detectives around the school, finding piles of straw, wood and bricks. And then they were encouraged to sequence the story together and to begin to retell the story as well and then moving on to recording their findings on a piece of paper. Once the children become more confident forming and sounding out words, they can begin to label their pictures and write captions with sentences too. So then it will be lunchtime. We go straight to lunch at 12 o'clock, which is the first sitting. Um, and then once the children have finished their lunch, they'll be able to go out onto the playground um, where we have a canopy, a trim trail, and also um, an all-weather surface um, and field, and many other resources which they can play with too. After lunch, um, in the afternoons, we'll have the opportunity to con the children will have the opportunity to continue their independent learning, which may be influenced by our term and topic. Um, and there'll be activities to encourage the children to explore their understanding of the world, expressive art and design, and physical development. For example, to deepen the children's understanding of the world, we've planted our own flowers and vegetables and watched them grow and change over time. We also used our produce um, in the cookery room and painted pictures of our flowers that we grew. We also complete STEAM activities, which is an umbrella term for science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics, where we focus on a topic and explore it in many different ways to help deepen our knowledge and understanding. For example, when we learnt about the rainforest, we used our iPads to discover what animals lived in the rainforest, art skills to draw pictures of the animals and trees in the rainforest, in maths, we learnt about different 3D shapes and how the trees are shaped like cylinders. And engineering to build the four different layers of the rainforest, which we learnt in science. Okay, so to support the children with increased expectation of independence, we pr promote the use of growth mindset. We use pictures as a visual aid um, to help the children understand what that means. So. We have a villain thought, which is, I made a mistake. But we at Fixworth Infant are superheroes, and we have try to have a more positive attitude towards our learning, and think, actually, mistakes help me to improve and to learn. Um, we also use child whispering, um, which is supports the children's personal, social and emotional uh, development um, and it's really there to help the children talk about their emotions, feelings and behaviours. We can use something called a colour meter so the children can represent how they're feeling and we encourage the children to use this with a friend if they've maybe had a conflict and they need to resolve it. So maybe the friend makes them feel sad or angry so they might be red or maybe orange and then hopefully when they talk about it, we can sort of resolve it and get it back to a sort of yellow or green, and then hopefully moving their way to green as well. Obviously, we will be here to support the children with their personal social emotional development too. So in terms of behavioural rewards, 
we have um, our core values, which is safety, teamwork, achievement, respect, and stimulating. Um, and if the children show their core values, they can receive a house point, and then we really celebrate their achievements at the end of the week, and some children will receive a certificate for excellent use of core value. So if you wanted to know how your child is getting on, it's important that the parents and staff caring for your child are working together. So we want you to feel safe and comfortable about exchanging information and discussing things that will benefit your child. Your child's class teacher will be available at the beginning and end of school for quick messages, but please ask for an appointment if you need a little longer to chat. Formal parents evenings will be held four times throughout the year. However, the classroom at present, um, due to COVID-19, is a little bit different. In school, we'll be promoting hand washing and good hygiene practices as part of day-to-day -day education, teaching emotional well-being and understanding of the pandemic through PSHE, observing government guidance on limiting direct contact and to amend practice as and when the advice requires, following government guidance on keeping our school and environment clean. Classrooms may look a little different at the moment, but this is to ensure that the children feel safe and secure. So information in these slides might change, as we don't know yet exactly what September will look like. Parents might not be able to give the teachers a quick message for beginning and end of the day, for example. So it will be necessary for us to continue to follow government guidance as it is given. We will send updates through letters, emails, and on our website as soon as we know anything. Tapestry is also a fantastic communication tool. Uh, this is where we will record your child's learning experiences using an online journey, journey journal called Tapestry to build a more complete understanding of your child's interests and progress. And we also really encourage for you to add your own observations as often as you can, as we'll be able to share these regularly in class and the children love showing their friends what they've been up to at home. So, helping your child to get ready for school, all children develop skills at different times, so it would be really important if your child is, is over the summer has practiced some of the following things. Using the toilet independently, washing and drying their hands, using a knife and fork, opening their lunch boxes or drinks bottle, dressing and undressing themselves, and having a practice changing into your PE kits and school uniform, sharing and taking turns, tidying up things that they have used. We use the term, choose it, use it, put it away. You might want to use that at home too. And lots of talking and listening. So, for your child's first day at school, please be positive with your children in preparing them when, uh, for school and explain to them what will happen. Your child will need to hang coats and PE kits on their coat peg, place book bags in their tray in the classroom, water bottles onto the tray in the classroom and find an activity to do. If you're worried about whether your child has settled, you're welcome to phone the school for an update. Our staff are very experienced at supporting children to settle. Most children, even if initially upset, soon become distracted by their surroundings and settle quite quickly. Children will be invited to have their first transition session to allow for time and space to settle and to get to know the staff and other children. We will contact you with first transition date as soon as the government have set out further guidance in relation to COVID-19. Over the first few weeks, the children will be busy making friends, getting to know our school, playing and learning. They may be a little bit more tired than usual, and we will provide quiet times as needed throughout the day. We will find out what the children already know and use this information to help us future planning and learning for your child. We would value any contributions you would like to make in helping us to get to know your children's needs. So, please remember, if you have any concerns or questions, we will be happy to help you. We will be setting up a questions and answers where we will be able to respond to any further questions. We are looking forward to speaking to you then. Thank you for listening.